Hello everyone, it's your boy El Chitan. Hope you guys are having a great day as I'm definitely having a good day on my end. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can fix lag, stutters and FPS drops in Genshin Impact by using these simple but effective settings. These settings helped me a lot to reduce a lot of the issues that I was having with this game. Now, this video is specifically for those who already watched other videos on how to fix these issues and are still experiencing FPS drops, stutters and lags. If you tried every solution that these YouTubers are giving you and you are still experiencing the issues I mentioned, then this video might help you solve this once and for all. So, without wasting your time, let's get into it. Just a quick disclaimer before I start, I won't promise these settings will work for you since everyone has a different computer. My computer could be different to your computer from the CPU I'm using to the GPU, and even the RAM sticks. But I recommend you still give these settings a try. Who knows, maybe this will help you with your performance issues with this game. We are going to go through four simple steps. The first step is for those who have a high refresh rate monitor. Go to settings, then display and then advanced display settings. Depending on your monitor's refresh rate, it could be higher than 60Hz. I recommend you set your monitor to 60Hz if you're going to play Genshin Impact. This will make the game feel a lot more smooth than if you play the game at a high refresh rate. For me personally, playing at a high refresh rate makes the game feel a bit more ghosty compared to 60Hz. The second step is going to be a personal preference thing. And the reason why I say this is because for some people, this in-game setting helped them reduce a lot of the stuttering and lag significantly. And for some, it didn't help them at all. That is VSync. VSync or Vertical Sync is a graphics technology that aims to synchronize the frame rate of a game with a gaming monitor's refresh rate. Basically, it helps to eliminate tearing, a common issue that a lot of gamers experience. The problem with using VSync though is that it adds a lot of input lag. Personally, I turn it off and instead use the alternative VSync technologies which are Enhanced Sync and FreeSync if you have an AMD GPU. Enhanced Sync minimizes both tearing and lag, so enabling this makes the most sense for Genshin Impact. FreeSync Premium also do the same thing as Enhanced Sync, so I recommend you enable it as well. To use this, make sure you have a monitor that supports FreeSync. For NVIDIA users, make sure you have G-Sync enabled and you also have a monitor that supports G-Sync. The good thing about NVIDIA users is that if you have a mix of a FreeSync monitor and NVIDIA GPU, then you will successfully run G-Sync. As long as the monitor is approved by NVIDIA, then you are still good to go. With the settings enabled, the game should feel more responsive, less lags and less stutters. However, there's still one more problem. If you take a look at the FPS graph, you can see that the frame deviation is all over the place. In order to get 60fps consistently, we need to use a frame limiter. This is where RTSS comes in. RTSS is basically a monitoring application that provides statistics on frame rate, frame time, 3D acceleration usage, and also offers real-time desktop and in-game video capture support. It's the one I showed you my frame deviation just now. It can be used to do a lot of things, but it's mostly used for setting up a frame limit for most games and it works. You can download this as a standalone program or you can download MSI Afterburner bundled with RTSS. I'll leave a link of it in the description in case if you don't have it. Once you're done installing it, open the program and it should look something like this. Ignore these executables. We are going to pretend there's nothing here. To set up a frame limiter for Genshin, simply click add and find an exe for the game. In my case, I already found where the directory file of the game is. Then click open. You should be able to see Genshin added like this. Then go to the frame limit here, click on it and type 60. Press enter and you're done. In order to know if the frame limiter is working, if you see a straight line in the FPS graph, then that automatically means it's working. This should give you at least 60 FPS consistently without the awful frame deviation. Now, you're probably noticing something here. 
but LCTA and why I still getting some frame deviation even with the frame limiter enabled. The reason why you're still seeing some frame deviation is because playing and recording a game like Genshin Impact takes a lot of my CPU usage. In fact, if I go to Task Manager, it uses about 50 to around 53% of my CPU usage. And on top of that, recording this game with X264 in 1080p will heavily put a toll on my CPU as well. Since my GPU doesn't support encoding, the only encoder I have to use is X264. But when I'm not recording the game, it runs just fine capped at 60fps without dropping frames. So no, I'm not lying you to use this program just because you should use it. It really works and you should give it a try. So here you have it. These simple settings should give you less lags, less stutters, and most importantly, less frame deviation. Hope this video helped you and if it did, please let me know in the comments. Also, let me know in the comments if you want me to make more content like this. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.